All right, folks, we're going to show you how we cook our walleyes. We would have loved to have showed you how we catch our walleyes, but there were a couple of reasons why we couldn't. And if I showed you how we catch these fish, I'm not sure that Kim would stay married to me. So we're going to show you how to cook them because my wife has a theory. If you hook them, you cook them. Now, this is really, really simple. This is proprietary top secret fish mix. And with Kim's permission, we're gonna post it at the end of the video so you can see it. But it's really easy, it can be used for anything, uh, any cooking method, whether you broil them, whether you bake them. Uh, we're gonna lightly fry them here in an electric fry pan. Some people will fry them in a bigger fry pan with a lot more oil or grease. And some people will deep fry them. Either way, it's pretty spicy. You get to tweak and alter it according to what you want. But you need this fish mix. You need about two pounds of really clean, beautifully well done walleye fillets. You need a little bit of oil. And you need about uh, that much butter on a stick. All right, it's really easy. Remember, I told you you need this fish mix. I'm gonna take these really cool looking walleye and I'm gonna put it in this fish mix and I'm gonna shake it up and I'm gonna get fish mix on all of the pieces and I'm gonna let it set for about 10 minutes so that it'll draw in a lot of this mix into the fish. And then once we have that done, I'm gonna warm up the pan a little over 350, put some oil in there, put some butter in there. And what I usually do is I take a little bit of this fish mix I just sprinkle it in there to make sure that the, the oil is hot enough. My experience is that you wanna have the oil that you cook your fish in somewhere between 350 or 360 on this setting so that when I put a little bit of my fish mix in there, it pops. I want my fish to pop when I put them in there because otherwise if you put them in oil that's not hot enough, the fish in the batter and the, the breading just soaks up that oil and you'll have kind of greasy, soggy fish. Walleyes are too good, don't do that. So here we go. One of the things you're gonna see is, not all of these are fillets. Some of these are what we call cheekers. They're the cheek meat. Usually a walleye over about 18 inches or so, you can get the cheek meat off them. And it is really, really good. And then I'm gonna show you what a fillet looks like when we do what we call frog legging. Frog legging is there's a little strip of bones right down the middle that you wanna get that out of there. And when you're all done, your walleye fillet looks like frog legs. All right, I just tested the oil and uh, it's hot enough. So now I'm just gonna take these fillets, shake it off and put it in the pan. Put the lid on, let it cook. However well done or non well done you like it. I usually flip it over one time and for me, walleye is done when it starts to flake. And I take it out of here, put it on a plate that has some paper towel, allow any grease to dry, some fresh lemon, and I can just sit here and eat pure walleye. No other goodies required, just walleye. All right, folks, I'm sure it's ready because it's falling apart, so I'm gonna quickly pull it out of here, throw it on my plate that has some paper towels to soak up any oil and we're going to be eating walleyes here shortly. And for walleyes, or any fish for that matter, lemons. Hmm. If I was baking these or broiling them, I'd probably have put the lemon on them while they were cooking. And just like that, that's how easy it is to cook walleyes. Simple, easy, delicious recipe soon to follow and down in the comments below we'll put it there in text for you walleye cheap meat mm. i know you're jealous thanks for watching